Hi there, welcome back to Pro Tools Synth Gurus. This session I'm going to quickly look at MIDI and some MIDI basics. If you want to go really deep in MIDI and then some other Pro Tools titles available from Groove 3, you can go and watch. But I'm going to talk about the basic ways of getting your audio in. We have real time where we can play as it's tracks going along. It gives you a more real feel. And basically all you need to do is hit the record button there. Make sure you're on the track you want to record on. You might want to count off and you can choose that there. You want your metronome switched on there. Now, if you haven't got a click track, you want to go track, create click track. That means you can hear your metronome. You can change the volume of it and stuff there as well. And then we can record. So we just basically put it in record. So there we are. Press the space bar and we finish that. Let's just have a listen to that. Now you can hear if we put the click up a bit higher. Now it's not quite in time. Now we can actually get that in time. We can use quantize and we can't see that at the moment. So you want to go to real time properties and then you have this quantize option here. And we just click the quantize. It's not quite right. Let's try eighths. So there we are, we have quantize. What we could do as an alternative instead, we could, I'm just gonna hide that window for a second so we've got a little more real estate there. We could come to event, event operations, and we can go to step input instead. This is like old school way of recording MIDI. And we choose our enable, we choose our destination track, which is just one at the moment, which is expand. Then we choose the note value. And there are your note values, got a whole bar, half a bar, quarter, eighth we want eighth notes and we can then actually play those and in step time it's simply a case of just pressing the notes so that's now been played in step time and if I just bring that back and play that now what you have to remember as well with step time is you've got to put the brakes in as well so if you need to know your spaces, we go to event again, we'll go back to step input and we go. Then there's a couple of spaces and you go next step, next step. And now we've got breaks as well as notes. Now, irrespective of whether you use real time or you use step time, we can then double click on that and open it in an editor. And here's that grid. Now, then I can then move things around. And just correct it just as simply as doing that then we can close that now we can also open our grid here so now we have and we just close the transport for a moment so we now have the track and the grid you can play a loop mode Now, if you're into composition and you read music, then of course you can hit this button here and that will take us into a score instead as well now. So we can go into that score and take a look at it. Those are the notes. And there's our piano roll again. If you want to see this up in the track, you can still do that. You go to this and you go to notes instead. And we can drag that down and make it bigger. So there we are, that's MIDI basics. A couple of things as well to remember. What we can also do, come to transport, 
If you don't like using count offs, we can use pause record, put it in record. Now the click track's going. And there we are, we've recorded it in and the pause was waiting for me to play. Now another thing we can do as well, we can overdub and there's the overdub button there. And if you hit that, it means that when it goes round, it will keep recording for you. That's really helpful when you're doing drums. So for example, let's just open a drum part instead. We'll come down to drums and we will come down to kicks and snares there. Let's turn that up a bit. So what we can do, we can create a loop, two bar loop there, and we can make sure our overdubs on Make sure our click track's on. Now what's even better is if we actually put our quantize on. Stay on eight for now. Now at any point, if you just turn off the record enable, you can practice stuff before you record it. I like that, so we're gonna record that in as well now. by using the overdub mode there. So there we are, that's how to get MIDI in and use it and manipulate it a little. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session.